All right, guys, here we are back again with part two. Obviously, I started this straight away, just absolutely straight away. Um, because, yeah, I'm not I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm definitely not stopping right away. We'll win this, um, one way or the other. Save the last one for me. So we're heading still down this, or around. <clears throat> But yeah, we are headed uh, around this underground area to find something. I think I've already killed this one. And I've got this other one here that I've got to try to kill. Can I like... Okay. Yeah, see, I can't use my abilities. Bloop. Go for their hearts. Okay, yeah, I'm moving for the full round. I'll cut you wide open. Okay. Oh, I just... Alright, that works. I'm glad I came, came down this way, though. Ooh, bracers. Bracers of armor. Scroll of afflict light wounds. Okay, good. Because, see, again, um, monks... I can find better. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize I had lucky bracers. And yes, they're better than bracers of armor. So, thank you for that. For in-game tutorial help person. There we go. Non-stacking bonuses. Okay. How about... Yeah, I guess those are also non-stacking bonuses. Okay, so there's no reason to have that. At least not yet. Like if I had a if I had a different character, you know, it would be different. But alright. So I'm trying to find our way out of this I can handle it. Area. We are the light. They are the darkness. Okay, so you don't have I'm going to use your full round to move up. Okay, so I can't I can't do that. There we go. We'll go ahead and activate that. All right. So Okay, hopefully Camilla can come up here and actually attack. Well, that wasn't very good, now was it? Oof! The inheritor, guide my blade. He probably didn't like the fact that a roundhouse kicked him all the way over there. What's that? Magic? Oh, flame tongue, cooking ingredient, and rainbow quartz. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So that little ding you heard was the fact of my um, my editing was done on the last video. So I'm going to put that up now. All right. Uploaded. Well, not fully uploaded yet, but in process. So why don't we move on? <clears throat> they will break against our resolve. Ah, oh, good. You're coming towards me now. You're not really going to like. You are today's sacrifice. No glory 
Really? I forgot, is this passive? Oh, not really. Forgot, I needed all of that. Um, how about... Oh, I can't even get to him. Guess I'm done with spells for tonight. <laughs> Damn you! Well, that works. Now I got his skin. Can't make the demons wait. All right. Anything over here? <clears throat> nope. Now we're going into some sort of tomb. <clears throat> and a new hero. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. You struggle to make out a man's features in the gloom. As soon as he steps into the circle of light, however, you realize that you have never encountered a creature like this before. The stranger looks like a work of a vivisectionist who attempted to stitch together a lizard and a man. When do I? The man notices you and freezes. The curling horn protruding from his head casts a malevolent shadow on the cave wall. Oh, she looks cool, Spider Woman. Did you find it? The woman looks Who just as, looks as just as strange as her companion, like a cross between a cat and a spider. When, when she catches sight of you, she immediately drops to a fighting stance. Her movements reveal the lethal grace of a wild predator. The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. Um, uh, demons are laying waste to Canaveral. As bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield mace. Damn it. Alright, sorry for the edit, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, she couldn't care, but... Uh, couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabres. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. This is the hall what is where this we place? remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this. Trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. Sometimes. This is where the relics of the first crusaders are displayed. Hmm. Our lives are short. She looks much cooler than he does. Forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else and that but our lives are not lived in vain he's good she's evil oh, the first crusaders you've been down here that long that's crazy that's none of your bit we're looking for a holy sword oh it was here in the center sticking out of a rock the sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Hmm. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. Nope. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. All right. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and oh. will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Yep. Okay. Thanks. We'll find the sword faster to work together. Can only help. 
Plus, you'll be able to lead us out. will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, sorty. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. All right. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? She is very optimistic. What? You want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. I mean, hey, it's a win-win. Okay, so... This one was beyond me. Statue of an unknown knight. The technique is crude, but the figure is clearly crafted in some way. Oh, there's that. Is that a trap? I found uh, something. Nope. Nope. Some sort of belt. What's that there? Is that treasure? Now what is that? There's rocks. What is this? The room looks like an improvised museum or perhaps some kind of temple. There's some loot there. There's loot there. Is that a trap? Is I that treasure? Found something. My perception is supposed to be pretty high. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. A strange flash pierces the gloom, and Fisher feels a drop feels drops of searing blood run down his chest. The wound healed by Tenendelev reopens and weeps scarlet, but there is no pain or weakness. A hazy scene appears, a caved chamber. This one is a this one or or another one entirely. Fisher's heartbeat quickens, and a stream of thoughts suddenly bursts into his mind. Thoughts that clearly belong to another. Treachery! They betrayed me, trapped me, and stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends, the people I swore to protect, the people for whom I descended from heaven and came to this turbulent mortal world. I know what that feels like. Maybe. <laughs> there they are, up ahead in the gloom of the cave. What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to draw any closer? Or do they believe I am about to die from their treacherous blows? Next to me, a quiet moan. A girl with golden braid lies on the rocks, clutching her head, her sla slashed side. She refused to join with the traitors and paid dearly for it. I could have tried to run, but I will not, not whilst I still have strength. I must, while recognizing the foreign origin of these thoughts, Fisher institutes that he can control them somehow. Let's try to heal the wounded girl. Okay, I don't have Arcana. So a spark of healing magic illuminates the eerie, murky scene before Fisher. The wounded girl opens her eyes and whispers, Lariel, you, you said that everything was going to change soon. You said you and the other warriors of heaven would be leaving us on a grand mission to stop the demons forever. Is that true? <clears throat> the frenzy of foreign thoughts comes faster and faster like a rushing river. Images flash by one after another. A priestess in colorful robes observing the stars. A young female paladin praying, clutching her glowing sword. A majestic golden-winged angel gazing into the distance. His face covered by a helmet, but his voice ringing clear. Only if you're willing and only if you're ready. There is no going back. Then don't waste your strength healing me, the girl whispers. Your mission is more important. You take care. It is near. There, in the vision, the darkness in the cave stirs into motion. Something massive appears from within its depths. A vague shadow, an outline, a nightmare come to life. A wave of odious chirping and rustling emanates from the shadow. The sound piercing like hot irons lancing through flesh and bone. The traitors fall to their knees before the shadows in reverent ecstasy. And the wounded girl lashes in her thrashes in her death throes. The yawning chest wound burns white hot. Fissure's head pounds with pain. It is no longer clear whose pain it is. The person called Lariel who sent this vision or the one lucky enough to receive it. We're going to try uh, Will 10. Will check failed. <laughs> the force of this terrifying attack, though originating in a vision, is much greater than anything Fissure can withstand. Crippling fatigue drags him to the ground, hands trembling. Cold, piercing his skull and slowly creeping along his spine. The one who sent the vision is experiencing something similar. He is broken and exhausted. 
A monstrous shadow emerges from the murk of the cave. It is not real. It exists only in the strange vision or memory. But the thrill of fear it provokes is more than real. The shadow's features starkly resemble those of Descari, the terrifying demon lord. In a movement as swift as thought itself, the monster's hand is wrapped around the throat of the one called Lariel. The foolish angel struggling on the rocks like a fly with its wings torn off, intones the shadow. Its voice changes as it moves, shifting from a quiet whisper to a sonorous shout, becoming young, then old and quavering. Where is your goddess, angel? Where is her self-assured herald? How is it that you are dying here alone, so far from the light of your heaven? A strange calm envelops the thoughts of the one called Lario. He recognizes who stands before him, and he knows he will never bow down before this enemy. The flaming sword flares to life in his hand, bright, pure, flickering with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam through stained glass. Slash. The blade slices through the demonic creature's flesh, and the monster recoils with a howl, releasing his grip on Lariel's throat. The angel falls back heavily on the rocks. His vitality is ebbing, and his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword with his last burst of strength, plunges it into the rock. Fissure senses that the vision is fading, the rush of thoughts diminishing like a river running dry. The last thing he hears is this. You will kill me, monster. This I know. But one day, someone will come here and raise up my sword. They will raise it up and... Save and protect the innocent. The vision disappears, vanishing in the burst of colors. Fissure does not hear the final words, but he seems to complete the thought, taking it to heart. The words fly from his lips, and with them, something else. The heat blazing in Fissure's chest fades away. The edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind. Looking down, Fissure sees the flaming sword in his hand. Or rather, its outline, the memory of what the sword looked like. With the final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes, and the light is drawn into his hand. Fissure senses that it will return. All he need do is call it. Oh. Hello. Hey. Are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. I have no idea. Sela kneels before the light, offering up a prayer to Imode. That... that was it. The light of heaven. But how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? I think I saw the memories of Lariel, the angel who Lariel? died here. That really was Lariel? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. <laughs> the chief will be thrilled. Really, though? You. Thousands of gongs, and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Now, now, yep. Wentwog, don't be a sore loser. He is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before him, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff. Because he doesn't carry our mongrel taint. <laughs> Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but... You insult. You just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. I don't know if I want to be an angel, though. It doesn't though. make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. Um, but I'm gonna try it. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! I'd rather it be... Heaven has truly blessed My fist. This power the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes. Yes, it's similar. 
But this light is more golden. <laughs> Chief Saul needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Yes. Help us save ours. Without them, we won't yes. survive. And then, the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Yeah. Well, the only route, really. Oh, okay, that's this route. Skill checks, yep. Because there's a mobility. Wasn't there another thing over here, though? Yeah, there's another loot. I was hoping maybe I'd get some more stuff, but... Oh, okay, so I have them now. What is protection from evil? All right, first off, I want to see what they are. He's a... Oh, he's a Zen archer, so he is... A monk as well, but based on a Zen archer. That is pretty awesome. I like that. So, okay. Um, I can become a dragon acolyte later on if I use these, but I don't know if I want to be a dragon either. Okay, so I like the fact that he is a Zen archer. Um, he does have high perception and nature lore and athletics and mobility. All right. She... Is this a regular fighter? Okay. But why is she using long range? Uh, but she has lore and perception. Pretty high stuff. Um, I don't understand why she's using long range, though. If she's using... Um, she's a fighter. Uh, okay, because she's a fighter, but mainly goes for... Um, bows okay okay that means i need to put her in the back obviously i probably won't use her then like i mean she's awesome she looks cool but i don't i don't know well let's set my party up into a bit of better so i've got yep 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 i'm gonna move you Right there. Oh, I guess I can pretty much move them wherever. I'm going to move them a little bit closer. Okay. Now, mobility check. Got this one. Okay. Most of the game's mechanics are based on the rules of the tabletop RPG Pathfinder. Blah, 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 blah. Trying to get a lower character fixture. Got the result of 18. The result is some of the dice roll, which was 10. And various modifiers. So, I was able to jump over. Combat log. Here we go again. Let's do it. Do not fear. Do not waver. Of course, I use charge first, so I can come in and do that. She is going to have to. Oh, this is my opening act. I forgot. Yet another obstacle. And now we're in battle again. Oh, wow. She killed... Okay. There's another rubble. I don't know if that's a, a different rubble, or if that's going to actually lead me someplace different, or is that going to take me back up there? All right. Okay, I have no idea where this took me. Uh, okay. They'll beg me to stop. Uh, point blank shot. I don't really need to worry about just yet. All right. Her move action's over here. I don't really have anything else that I need from her. So end her turn. All right, who is next? Into the fray. Really? The inheritor, guide my blade. I 
don't really know what that does. What is that until the unit of the smite is dead? Okay, well, that's pretty much all I've got at the moment, so. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Go for their hearts. There we go. What do we have here? Oh, nice. What is this? Oh, Wand of Cure Light Wounds. Nice. So this was a good place to go to. Alright. Beautiful. Yep. Alright, let's go in a little bit deeper. Did we find trouble? No, they did. Really? You're gonna try to attack me? I don't want to move the full round here. Because I wanted to do that. Oh, there's there's another enemy somewhere? Alright. I'm not seeing it. Ah, there he is. I guess I probably need to take that off. Miss! Why did, why is that still up? There. Okay, am I able to attack? There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. I feel like the chosen one. Huh. <laughs> Cause I am the chosen one. Oh. We can rest after this fight. Oh, they attacked me first. I mean, that's not very nice of you. Um, yeah. I'll do that. Oh, there's a hidden uh, skeleton over there. And there's the attack of opportunity there. Oh, it's me. Oh, I get the light of angels. Nice. Can't believe I still haven't got Fury of, Fury of Blows yet. Are you still here? You won't survive me. All right, yep. Okay, so I thought that that would um, increase her movement. It really doesn't. Her movement speed is, is I guess, obviously trash. I am definitely liking... Um, They'll me to stop. Liking the turn-based system, though. I really am. That's a masterwork great sword. Alright, I do like to hit hold tab just so I can see all the Let's hidden stuff. Do. 
Oh. Okay. Uh, Windog uh, glances at Lan, who's fixing his slipped bowstring, and quickly walks over to you. Her cat-like eyes glow from beneath, uh, excuse me, her beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you. Don't show the light of heaven to Saul. It's like Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mong mongrels. Lan, he wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? To me, it sounds like suicide. The worst part of that tribe, worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to heart and follow where he leads. It's like, do you not want to save the kids lost in the maze? I do want to, but not going to risk the future of the tribe for the sake of a few stupid kids. Chief Sol is hesitant, and for good reason. He also understands how dangerous this is for the tribe. Land's the only one who benefits from these childish games of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to, and find them, or whatever's left of one. Without any heroics, relying only on myself, risking my own life. You and your friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together and find a way out to the surface. I thought you considered the Mongols to be great warriors. The descendants of great warriors. I believe that my people are worthy of greatness. That we are strong to do many things. That's why we are chased down here. We scared people. But it's one thing to go hunting in the caves. Another to fight in the shield maze. I spent, I've been there. I've spent my whole life training so I can make it through all the way to the end. There are more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple of monsters when there's a whole world out there waiting for us? That's what we thought. We weren't prepared. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's cunning and full of traps. It's dark. It's primordial. It's primordial night. <clears throat> and if you close your eyes and listen, you hear whispers right behind you and soft singing in the distance that seems to rise and fall with the beating of your heart. I had to learn from my friends' mistakes. I had to step over their bodies and go further. I don't want to have to do that again, and it will happen again if a crowd of ill-prepared fighters burst into the maze with no idea where they're going, all because Lon believes that a glowing sword will solve all of our problems. It's like, all right, I'll think about it. Don't show the chief the light, and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface. I swear it. But I don't want you in my party. I want Lon. I really do. Leaving a location. Of course, we have to have all of our people present and accounted for. So now here we go. <clears throat> all right, so I'm at a different location now. Oh, these are all mongrels. Oh, your first impression of the Mongol villages is a squalid dump with the odors to match. Unblinking, glowing eyes watch you from the gloom and deformed shadows slope between the huts. You see some mongrels guttering white eyeless fish while others are repairing fishing nets. All the signs of normal village life, but tense expectations hangs in the air. <sighs> okay. Up led his aged, a heavyset aged mongrel slowly shuffles his way towards you. The hair on his head grows in limp, wispy strands, and his face has a distractedly rat-like appearance with pronounced teeth. You hear a rattling sound in his, chest with, with, in his chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. Uplandish, huh? In time, so hard upon us, indeed. <clears throat> Chief Sol, we found the angel sword, and we found the one who could wield it. He had a vision, and now the angel sword, together with the light of heaven, are somehow inside him. Gather the tribe. Anyone can hold a weapon. The young ones are still alive. We can go save them. Ah, Lon, always dreaming, always talking. You're too hasty, too hasty for your own good. It's good to get you in trouble. Soul eyes you up and down. There's an uplander with the light of heaven. That's too good for us. Our kind don't have good things happen. There's always a catch. Land trusts people because he likes to believe. Isn't that right, Land? I'm the chief. I don't work on faith. Show the light. Okay, so if I do this, when he goes, stares you intently like a cat watching a bird and shakes your head. I 
I'm gonna go lawful. The heavenly flame flares to life in your unspoken command. Bright, pure, dancing with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam passing through stained glass. The Mongols abandon their casts and stare, fi transfixed. The light is bright but not blinding. It is warm, but its worth is soul deep. You performed a lawful action. Uh, Sala silent for a while. Tears are streaming down his wide, pale face, but the old man doesn't even care to wipe them away. So it's true. The angel did not forsake us. Uh, no, he came back from the dead. He came to save our children. Lon gives you a nod of thanks. The scaled half of his face is indifferent, but the human half is visibly relieved, as he wasn't sure all this time you would support him. See the fishermen and these hunters, these husks of men and women, their blood will be on your hands. Like, I am not responsible for others' decisions. And why are they making these decisions? Because of you. You've sealed their fate. You're a murderer. You always think they're worse, Windu. We're not on our own in this anymore. We've got allies. Well, a couple at least. But one good, fight, fight, one, but one good fighter is worth ten bad ones. You have the right of it, land, but we're neithers. Nethers. We're going to wait. I sent a message to summon all the tribes. It will take time, yes, but they will all come. They will all come for the light. Wait, land. Wait, uplanders. Rest a while in one of our huts. Our home is your home. All right, chief. Understood. Let's hope that a few hours isn't the difference between life and death for these kids. If they ask me what took us so long, I'll tell them it was your decision. She only grits her teeth. Oh, so we gained a level. Should I? Hmm. Yes. Character levels. And I'm going to go ahead and stick with the scaled fist. Um, you can actually mix and match all your stuff. So you can come down here and get some of these others down here. I forgot there was Druid. So. But I don't know. Like, I wouldn't mind getting, like, Stalwart Defender, I guess. Or Duelist. Getting Duelist would be nice. But again, they use um, swords and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll, I'm going to stick with... Um, my monk, my scaled fish monk. And that's going to allow me to get four points, which obviously is going to go into persuasion and perception. And mobility. And like... Athletics. I'm going to use um, my other people for um, my knowledge. Alright, now this is my new one. So if I get the mythic version, you leap into the fray with speed and confidence. I don't really want that, though. Crane style would be okay. But it takes away my pummeling style. Combat reflexes. Like, I wouldn't... I don't know why it's, you know... I don't know. I don't know why it's not allow it, why it's saying that I shouldn't take that one. Um, or even intimidating prowess. Why, why is that? I can add my strength modifier to persuasion skill when you use intimidate checks in addition to your charisma modifier, which would be good in persuasion checks. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that because that will actually be better. Because it'll add my strength modifier, which is a plus two, down to my three to give me a plus five completely. I get evasion, which is awesome. So there's that. Um, I don't know if I want to keep her as a paladin. I don't really like paladins. Paladins really aren't that great. Getting a stalwart defender would be good. Eldritch Knight is good too, but they're only good whenever you use them with uh, Magus. I don't think I really have anything that she can really turn to that's going to be really any good. Yeah, 
I'll go ahead and keep with the Paladin. Okay, so she's going to have a nature world. I don't know why she has a plus two to magic device. Bloop and bloop. I'm going to give her, you know, all the... I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do that. So then now she has some arcana stuff. Oh, she gets uh, Divine Grace, though. And Lay on Hands. Which is actually really awesome. Um, and, yep, she is the Spirit Hunter. Which I'm probably going to go ahead and keep as well. Um, she uses... She gets Hex next. Alright. Um, definitely Trickery. Lore nature. I guess that's it. Trickery and lore nature. That's, that's you know. It's good enough for me. Oh, these are my hexes. Uh, Shaman can touch a creature. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Chant, Draconic Resistance, Fortune, Fury, Healing. Oh, I might. There's a battle ward. Evil Eye. There is healing. This acts as a Cure Light Wound spell using the Shaman's Caster level. Once a creature has benefited from the healing hex, it cannot benefit from again for 24 hours. Secret. Oh, okay. Here's Slumber. This hex can affect a creature of any HD. This hex ends immediately if the creature takes damage, whether or not the save is successful. Protective Luck. Nails. Shaman's nails are long and sharp. Count as natural weapons that deal 1d3 points of damage. 1d2 for small shaman. Misfortune. That's actually pretty cool. Indemnating display. Ice Plant. Mm -hmm. Plus two natural armor bonuses. To AC. Hampering Hex. Uh, this creature causes a minus two to AC and uh, CMD for a number of rounds equal to Shaman's level. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I also get there's Dragonic Resilience. Chant. Shaman can chant as a move action. Any creature that is within 30 feet that is under the effects of the Shaman's Evil Eye, Fortune, Fury, or Misfortune Hex has the effects duration extended by one round. Um, battle Ward <coughs> for deflection bonuses. There's a Battle Master. Aura of Purity. Um, diseases inhale poison and noxious gas effects such as Stinking Cloud and Negated in a 10-foot area around the Shaman for a number of minutes equal to her level. Um, Shaman can touch a creature to protect it from negative conditions and suppress their effects. If Shaman chooses one of the following conditions... Um, I think I'm going to go with Battlemaster, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Battlemaster. And you, my scaled friend, will just continue being a Zen Archer, because I kind of like that. Two basic monks. Oh, you get stealth too? I yeah, I guess you would get stealth, huh? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so I have ooh, there's rapid shot. Rapid shot is good. Precise shot's good too. Deflect arrows. There's dodge. What is this? You can shoot or throw ranged weapons at an opponent engaged in melee without taking the standard minus four penalty on your attack roll. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Okay, well, there's... I'm going to do the way of the longbow. Which gives me the weapon, weapon focus for longbow. I would like for him to get a longbow. I don't think I have a longbow equipped. Maybe I do. I do! 
Ha ha! I don't... I really don't know why she's a fighter. I would have made her a rogue. Honestly. Can I, like, secondary class her to a rogue? I'll just keep them what they are. It just kind of sucks, you know, because, like, why is she a fighter? Okay, so she does have a uh, deadly aim. They get all this stuff. I want to do a weapon focus. I'll go ahead and do the weapon fo focus on the longbow since that's what she's using. She gets bravery. Okay. Well, there we go. I don't know why it sent me. Okay, I want to ask a few questions. Tell me about the long girls. Uh, la 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 la. Wind dog, beauty of a huntress. Lan is not one of us. Not one of us. His father was, was one of us, but his mother, no. They took him up to the surface. They ruined him as a child. Then they came back down. Huh. Are we uplanders prisoners or guests here? Have we drawn weapons against us? No. Have you killed us? No. Have you stolen our food? No. Guests. All right, Mr. Swift, you rally the tribesmen all for... Okay, so he's going to rally go. all the tribesmen. While I go steal everything that I can steal from this place. We'll see what I can find. But it's not very much. He said I could use one of his huts. But I can't go inside any of the huts. Oh, because I gotta come down here and talk to this person. Horgus. A human face at last, and there I thought I'd be gazing upon the twisted visages of these troglodytes for the rest of my life. An elderly man in expensive but ostentatious clothes approaches you. His face is peppered with several healed cuts and bruises and twisted in an expression of extreme discontent. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Horgus Gwerm. Yes, that Gwerm. You don't know have, have heard of me. I've spent many time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for you. Uh, how'd you end up here? For a moment, Horgus' eyes focus on Camilla before his gaze returns to you. Ugh. Like everyone else, down I went when the accursed beetle cleaved the ground in twain beneath our feet. I'm lucky I didn't break my neck in the fall. I'm doubly lucky that I didn't encounter any subterranean cockroaches on my blind wanderings. Instead, I came across hunters from the settlement. Although I must say, when I first glimpsed their uh, physiognomies, my life flashed before my very eyes. But they turned out to be decent chaps. Frightening to look at, but able to keep a bargain. You don't speak very, speak very kindly of Mongols, even though they saved your life. <laughs> kind words for people with, with hours to fritter away on pleasantries. Horgus Worm speaks his mind and he pays for services rendered. Not with kind words, but with hard coin. I gave the Mongols my dagger in exchange for their help. It's a handle that's worth more than their whole village. Okay, what kind of business proposition? I don't know what's happening on the surface right now, but I am determined to find out. You have no intention of seeing out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect. We must find a route back up to the surface, to the city, if there's anything left of it. You look promising. Look, someone who can turn a demon into a mincemeat before they have time to sneeze. I could use a companion like you. You are strong. It will be no trouble to you. But I, alas, am not as fit as I once was. I can't go crawling about through caves playing at scouts. My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. Uh, I suggest we help this man. Could good friends of the cannabis elite. Um, diplomacy, two thousand. 
<clears throat> Are you taking advantage of my dire circumstances? Very well. Make it 2000 Deal. All right, go on, go on. Don't forget our agreement. When you find the way out, be sure to tell me. All right. And steal and steal and steal some more because they don't care. I don't really know exactly where I'm going. Oh, there's a Neva. Okay, they're just talking. Uh, it's old matter. Miss Terrorblade here had the notion of spying on me, then rummaging through my goods. I may I ask you. Do we look like a cultist? Hmm. Cultists don't tend to look like cultists, you know. That's kind of the whole pro problem. And you, Mr. Gort, built a whole secret operation of buying and smuggling into the city. What was it? Oh, yeah. Magical weapons. How am I supposed to know all that rigmarole with middlemen was so you could anonymously donate supplies to the crusade? Don't you see? I have a reputation to uphold. One that I value most highly. Horgus Squirm is a hard-nosed businessman. Not a good fairy from a tale. Yes, I care about my city. Yes, I wish to see that its defenders, my defenders, were all fed, healthy, and well-armed. But to make those donations openly was unthinkable. I might as well hang a sign outside my door welcoming in every sponger, leech, and parasite in the city. Okay, so how's the leg? Uh, well, it hasn't fallen off yet, so that's good. They bandaged me up all nice and smeared some stinking stuff on the wound, so it looks like I'm going to live. They said, wait a day, and I'll be right as rain. So, I'm waiting. Alright. No dilly-dallying. to find my way up. Who is that? Oh, it's a vendor. Okay. Um, you, from the surface, you must be tough. Make it all the way here. Never thought I'd see the day. Call me Dryad. Let's trade. Then let's trade. Cold Ironwork Master Great Axe. Thick pads. Okay. Lots of scrolls, got some hide armors, nothing that I can use. Oh, quiver of cold ammunition. Cold iron ammunition. That's actually really good. Does, does it, is it unlimited? I don't know, but that's pretty good. Purifying solution. Huh. Thanks, I don't really need. The scrolls are nice, but I don't really have, uh, you know. Why is this magical? Because it just has a, it's a thick, uh, that'd be, that's awesome. But yeah, I don't, I don't really need them. So, padded armor can go. Light crossbow can go. Flail can go. Long sword can go. Oh, bulk selling of anything that I don't need that can basically be considered junk. Right? Yep. Um, the comma can go. Unless it's... Oh, that's a masterwork light crossbow, which I don't really need that either. Masterwork great sword, light shield, There's a light mace. I don't know. Maybe I should keep the light mace. Masterwork dagger, short spear. I'm gonna keep that. Deal. All right. Well, we're already at the almost the, the hour mark. Wow. I, uh, I guess it goes to show how much I've been playing. Already two hours into the game. But there we go. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go ahead and give you 
called Iron Quiver. Now, she has proficiency with the longsword, which is 1d8. The light. I forgot, how do I. Oh, can I sort it? There we go. Um, you don't have that because you can't wear anything, but you can wear that. Well, I could have given you the padded armor, but I think you're leaving. I think she's she's actually leaving since um, I'm not going to uh, keep her since I did what she didn't want me to do. Um, everybody's fatigued at the moment. But yeah, I think that I think that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so this looks like where I came up at. Okay, there is that is the my hut for resting. But before then, I am going to There's some more loot over there, but it's okay. I might I'll be I'll probably be able to hit over there. Nine hours. The messenger returned. The tribes are gathering at the entrance of the maze. Our people have already gone there. I've warned Anivia and and that old guy who won't even acknowledge me. Take your time. There's no rush. The most important people always show up late. Everything's going to plan, but one thing's bothering me. Windowhawk's gone. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. She was always stubborn. Maybe she decided she could do it all on her own. I hope she comes back. We'll struggle without her, and she'll struggle without us, no matter how hard she'll deny it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. But before we do, thank you. I'm so happy. I forgot to thank you before, but you've done you've done something no one else has, has in a long time. You've given the Mongols hope. It's like we're starting to believe that we're worth something now, that we have the power of the angels on our side. It won't change anything, of course, but at least you'll help us save the young ones, hopefully. Okay, uh, let's go through the main gate, the straight road to the shortest. Yep, that's what I figured. So, that was my resting hut. Okay, that's that. I don't... Can I, like... Yep. Uh, bloop, 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 bloop. I'm going to go ahead and take everybody over here just to pick up those pieces of loot that I need. And then I'll run back. <clears throat> so. Okay, well, there's all the loot. Yeah, resting hut. All right. Let's head back, but you know what? I'm going to end this video right before we go any further. Um, I'll probably have it drop the day after today. So we'll probably go with that. So hopefully when you're watching the next one, you'll keep watching because I'm going to keep playing. Um, I have nothing better to do tonight. So until then, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in the next one.